for this week's quick tip. I wanted to revisit the Simplify update that was added to Fusion 360's simulation workspace. The reason for this is that when this change was made, a popular command went away. Suppress all but selected. This option was handy in filtering large assemblies down to just the bodies and components you wanted to simulate. It would have worked well in a case like this, where I just want to simulate the tank and cover and ignore all the other bits like the nuts and bolts, flanges, lifting lugs and legs. So let's see how we can do this now in a slightly different way. We'll jump into simulation and from there into the Simplify workspace. Before I jump into the new way to suppress all but selected, let's highlight another new feature. A selection tool that will help you remove all these bolts at once. I'll double click one. Remember, you're trying to select the components, not bodies. Then right click to find Select All Occurrences. This will get the whole group, which I can now remove altogether. When I do, Fusion does add a remove feature in the timeline for each instance. But just like when designing, we can group these together for organization. But I can't use this option for the flanges due to their different sizes, and it won't do me any good for the lifting lugs and legs. So let's do what we set out to do, suppress all but select it. I'll double click the tank body and cover while holding the control or command key. Then, from my right mouse menu once again, find the invert selection option. This selects all the other components from the design. Now I can use the Remove option once again to clear up the other four components. It did leave behind the cleanout swing arm, but why? Well, if we select it and dig into the browser, we'll find that this isn't a component, it's a body. As that's the case, if I want to remove this, I can do it from here now. From there, we can carry on to remove additional details before running the simulation, and then start interpreting the results. For those of you wondering how this was constrained after removing the legs, I opted to use Remove Rigid Body Modes. What this does is applies a global acceleration and soft springs to stabilize unrestrained models. To learn more about this, see the link in the description. That's all for now. Cheers.